You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, we are here in Los Cabos, Mexico. Second annual Life Lux Jazz Experience. Uh, 14 acts performing over three days. Uh, if you, of course, now it's a little too late if y'all want to come. Now you can actually hop on a plane if you want to come here. Uh, but if you want to actually see all of the concerts, go to gfntv.com, gfntv.com. You can actually get the live stream pass for $10.99. You can see all of the uh, performances. It's going to be great here. Joining me right now is Bluey, lead singer Incognito. What's happening? Hi, I'm uh, really enjoying it. What's not to like? We're on the beach. Okay, well, absolutely. Of course, it's great here. But what's up? You got this heavy, heavy shirt on, man. It's not, it's 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 too warm for that. This is this is much colder than my island, Mauritius. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was much colder. Yeah, <laughs> this is getting cool now. Oh yeah. Well, you yeah. know, you know, cloud cover, tippers are dropping. In a minute, you'll be looking for your jacket. No, 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 I won't. No, I won't. No, trust me. You understand, I lived in Chicago for six years. Uh, we had a cold front that came through in June. Uh, and so I hold off on wearing a jacket as long as I can, because even now being in D.C., when it comes, it's going to be there for at least five months. So that's how we do it. So let's talk about uh, being here, uh, this experience. Now, look, you have jazz festivals all around the country. Uh, and so uh, give me a sense of how folks around the world still uh, still receive jazz in the United States is a lot different than is other parts of the world. Because it's a music that still brings people together. We celebrate life together, especially in a world now that's led by a lack of empathy and greed, you know, as you've been talking about on your program, you know, your mu music is a small part in, in the wheels that brings people together and still celebrate life and, and feel they can actually maybe come together and inspire a change, you know, and th that's why we, it's so popular and it and it continues to have that essence of celebration and and and, and coming togetherness but also it's for the th for the thinkers uh, what jazz artists influence you or were there any other artists who influence you uh, everybody from Miles David to Stevie Wonder in the, in the soul side and uh, you know bands like Earth, Wind & Fire who was funk bands but they were jazz bands you know the, the, Earth, Wind & Fire was as, as much a jazz band as any any other band in the world for me you know from listening to their early days when they, when all those solos were blaring and you know so they were they were a big inspiration Chicago see what I love about jazz is you've got to play a damn instrument you cannot be in jazz and not have an instrument. Now, other art forms, uh, trust me, I, I, it kills me uh, with, with, with all of the computers and everything, but it's something different when you actually have to play an instrument. I've been taking a, a, a 12 to 15 piece band around the world for 40 years. No track, no track playing, just live band, 40 years. 12 to 15? That's a lot of damn attitude. Yes. You learn from the best. Earth, Earth, Wind & Fire, Tower of Power, Chicago. You know, it's like you learn from those bands and you say, that's the way to make that sound. That's the way to communicate that information, inspiration information, that is. All right, so if you had your pick of three now-deceased jazz artists to be in your band, who would they be? Well, some of them were, were actually played with us. George Duke. And uh, Grover Washington, I didn't get a chance to because to me, no, no Grover, no smooth jazz. And uh, and and the guy, a guy I've worked with many times, Roy is. Mm. Who's going to be here? Yeah. So I'm waiting for for my hug from the man. <laughs> <laughs> well, well that, that's that's a good three right there. See, people probably probably would have surprised with those three. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna throw this at him. Uh, give me a. Uh, the best white jazz artist for you? Uh, I would say B Bill Evans. Bill Evans. Yes. All right. Yeah. Some mad white guys right now. Hey. Well, <laughs> you know, he, he, he's one of the best. What can I say? You know, he touches touches my heart. You know, who, how do you relate to what is best? The best is the ones that speak to your heart and soul, and he did that. All right. Now. Um, I ask comedians this all the time. I ask them, what's the bit, what's the funniest city for them? Uh, you travel all around the world. If you had to pick one place in terms of where the fans are rabbit, crazy jazz fans, what place would that be? 
There's a, it's hard to beat New York, but I would say outside of that, Seoul, Korea, South Korea, Seoul. Really? Between that and the Phil- and, and, and any, any city in the Philippines. Why is that? Because they embrace it in a way that it's not just for the moment. It lives, they live it. They, 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 their, kid, their kids learn to play jazz. You know, you get like eight and nine and 10 year old that can tear up the piano, guitar, saxophone. You know, it's like they live it because it's a Bible to them. They play their babies that stuff in the belly. Wow. See, folks, folks would be shocked by that. Otis Clay was one of my favorite blues artists. And one of his, my favorite for him, he did, he did a, um, uh, an album that was in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Uh, and a lot of blues artists, they are huge in Asian countries. Of course. It's where they, it, you know, you get to a certain age, the world tend to overlook you. In those countries, they respect you even more and they bring you. And those artists can still make a living. They can still have, live life with a dignity. They can be, go on a stage and feel that, that ad, ad, adoration of music, not just them as individuals. When they step up on that stage, they carry the, they bear the torch for all the jazz players and all the blues players and all the soul players. You know, they embrace the history in a way that, we have forgotten how to. All right. Then. Now, folks out there watching uh, right now, if there was one Incognito album that they should go download right now, what is it? If I'm speaking to Americans, it's got to be positivity. But I would say our new one, you know, because the, the new one to me is always the word. <laughs> and, and that is Tomorrow's New Dream, which came out today and went number one in Japan. Wow. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right, then. We're looking forward to you hitting the stage there. You, and thank you for having me on the show. Beautiful show and uh, bringing home a lot of truths to a lot of people. I appreciate thank you. it. Thanks a bunch. Looking forward to it. All right, folks. Back to that Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks. It's the holiday season. This is when you think about spending time with family and friends. This is also when you count your blessings and support those less fortunate. This year, be a holiday hero and change someone's life forever. Right now, hundreds of thousands of Americans are sitting in jail without being convicted of a crime. Why? Because they lack the financial resources to pay their bail. Now think about it. If you are arrested for any minor offense, you will be taken directly to jail. If you don't have bail money, you will stay there until a court date is scheduled. That could be days, weeks, or even months. Simply put, America's bail system is broken for people of color. Freedom should be free. That's why the Ebony Foundation has partnered with The Bail Project and is sponsoring the Home by the Holiday campaign. The Bail Project has helped bail out thousands of people over the years. And with your help, they plan to get 1,000 people out of jail by New Year's Day. Now that, of course, will be a great holiday gift for many families. A donation from you today can change someone's life tomorrow. Now that you know the people of color represent upwards of 90% of the jail population across the country. And without bail, nearly 90% of those charged with misdemeanors pled guilty. Now, however, uh, with paid bail, less than 2% received the jail sentence. Sometimes justice needs just us. To join the fight, you can donate 25, 50 bucks or more to help the Ebony Foundation bring our brothers and sisters home by the holiday. To donate, go to homebytheholiday.com. That's homebytheholiday.com. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.